Australia. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. We often talk about the ghosts in cities like Montreal or Detroit, but the city of Pittsburgh has established some as well here, haven't they? This is a tremendous hockey city. They support their team, and they've had the luxury of watching Mario Lemieux, Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin and company for a long period of time. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Well, the hype for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. The Penguins looking against the half wall. Couldn't complete the pass. Quick feed to Stevens. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. The Kings have it now. Slides it diagonally to Murphy. Denies him on the slapper. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still looking for our first goal. Lemieux won the draw here in the offensive zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Makes it look easy with the stop. There's another stop. Rudy's gonna slow things down and up for the whistle. Oh, you gotta kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. That's a pretty good scoring chance that's turned aside. Hey, the shooter is gonna have to do better against the goaltender that is so positionally sound here. That's gotta be a crisper shot. The Penguins win the draw. That's gloved by Rudy. Really like his positioning here as he's able to get the glove up there to make the save. But it doesn't have to be a spectacular, crazy save because he's in a good spot. Pittsburgh's got it in the offensive zone. Here he is from the slot. Denies him in close. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. He's got a step. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hand, great finish. Little short break, and it's in the net. He's so calm on this breakaway. He's got his head up the whole way. He picks his spot, snaps it by the goalie. The Kings have to be loving this start. You'd love for every start on the road to be this good. The early goal, a good couple of first shifts. Now you want to push through this first period. Roberts has it along the boards. And that's poked away by Millen. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Sends a pass over. Here's a short pass to Granado. And he slides it quickly to Sandstrom. He says, let's get physical on that play. And that's broken up. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Coffey. Pittsburgh's got the puck here in the open ice. Poked away in the defensive end. The Kings take over on possession. Move to the middle. Oh, he scores. No, wait. They're calling it off immediately here. Yeah, now they'll have to talk and decide whether this is going to count or not. Well, nobody likes having a goal called back, but they'll just have to play on as the puck's about to drop. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Moves it to Donnelly. Gains the zone. Makes the save. Picked up along the wall by Thompson. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. There's the whistle, penalty coming up. The Kings are getting penalized for slashing. 
you got to let him go at a certain point here. He gets called for slashing, and that's not a good penalty. The Penguins get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Even though this is a great chance to tie the game, you still have to remain a little bit patient. Don't panic with the puck. The Penguins gain possession. And the puck's not loose. Here's a shot! And the puck dies with the trapper save. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. LA's won the face-off deep in their own end. And they get that puck down the ice. Nice zone entry from the middle. Trying to clear, and they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Yager swooping in on the attack. LA's penalty killers get a hold of it. And they send it down the ice. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Puts it on goal. And the puck skips off the glove. Rudy's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Murphy's trying to brace himself. He knows the hit's coming. But man, does he get level. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. The Kings get a hold of the puck in their own end. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Blake's truculent zone ability is that willingness to play that hard and heavy brand of hockey, guys. He can really pressure his opponents into making bad plays with a hard body check. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Nice job to escape the zone. A little more congested around the front with an extra player. They take advantage, and they're on the board and tie the game. This is where I got a lot of my goals, James. You can't fiddle around with a puck there. On the stick, off the stick, and it's in the cage. superstar ability on that play to light the lamp and if he can get in tight to the net like that he can get some really good looks slides the puck over takes the feed here's a chance that goes wide handles it along the blue line great reach with the poke check Oh, this has turned into demolition. Derby night after that collision. Gretzky's gaining momentum. And he takes a shot. Dead eyes him on the play. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Slides it over to Francis. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Handles the pass at center. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the wall. Los Angeles has it in the defensive end. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And they won't connect on that one. Moves the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Manages to hang on. Stopped by the goaltender. Cuts to the paint. Oh, and it's another save on the play. holds his position really well here. He's able to make the stop. That's a good scoring chance that he snuffs out. Gretzky's a great teammate because of his third eye zone ability, and it means he can set someone up with the perfect dish. Stevens can shield the puck with his body when he drives it to the crease. His big rig zone ability is his favorite way to create scoring opportunities. I'll be keeping tabs on these players all night long, and let's see if one of them can lead their team to victory. Guys, back to you.
As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. This is a confident power play group. They've already been on the board in this game, and they want more. You can just tell by how quickly they got out there. Taken by Taylor. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Looking to break out here on the power play. Puck exits the zone. To his teammate. A chance. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Smothered that in close chance. Grabs the puck. Pittsburgh's playing it through center. Puck set across the blue line. LA's got possession while undermanned. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Well, I wanted another look at this one, James. I thought in live time, the goalie didn't touch it, but that's just a piece of the puck turned away. Great stop. Lemuse at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Down the right side and into the zone. Granado's up at the box. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Pittsburgh's power play comes up empty-handed. We're back to even strength on the ice. Oh, I really like the penalty kill there. They were on the same page almost all over the ice that entire power play. The game stays tied because of their fine work. Oh, what a stop! Really good save. Control the rebound. Get it into the corner where you can reestablish yourself. Los Angeles has the clock against them, but they've got the puck for one last chance. The Kings have it from the corner. That's not going to fool them. Can't pull the trigger. 20 minutes in the books and a pretty fun 20 minutes at that. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. And we are underway, still tied up here in the second. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? The Penguins burnt the puck up constantly in that first period. Probably pretty lucky the game's tied. James, when you look forward to the rest of this game, they have to do a much better job when they have the puck to make sure they keep it. And not much on that one. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Lemuse won the faceoff. Great poke check on the reach. Here's a chance. Comes up with the stop. Takes the pass. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Oh, and the anchor is dropped on that hit. He's a power forward. That's a big part of his game. He really threw a big hit. Lemieux moving it ahead. And it's a quick pass to Stevens. Here's a shot. Whoa. There's the go-ahead goal, and we have a new game. Taking the lead now to control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back on their heels. Oh, what a play. He slams this out of midair. Touch them all, Grand Slam. Pittsburgh's finally gone in front. What's the approach now, Ray? Shouldn't change. I mean, the game's not going to spread out anyway. Even though it's a one-goal game instead of tied, it's not going to all of a sudden be a shootout, I wouldn't think. The Penguins played along the wing. LA's got control of it now from their own end. Gains the zone through center. Let's it go. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Hey, 
if you get a look on the highlight here, that's a really nice blocker stop, but what a scoring chance. In good position, just beaten by the goalie. Centers gliding up to the face-off dots here. Pittsburgh's got it in the defensive zone. Handles the puck. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Great read with the stick. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the half wall. Rips it on net. That goes off a twig. Here's a shot. Denied by the defender. Nice block. Oh, and it goes off the outside of the post. Pittsburgh's lead does not change. It just needed a bounce there as this puck hits the post and stays out. The Penguins look to start the transition game. Great pass from off the right side. With possession along the wall. Denied wow. by the goaltender. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Hey, Brannigan, one more time. Let's roll that. Everybody likes a clean hit. Watch how solidly he goes through, makes the contact there. That's a big hit. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. It's 2-1. The Penguins take possession off the faceoff. LA's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Sends it across. And he makes the save on that play. Francis takes it inside his own end. And that's knocked away. LA's got it in the offensive zone. Moved out in front. Stopped with ease. When you're the offensive player, it seems like so much more work when you gotta go hunt the puck down in the corner. That's a good save. Barrist makes an excellent save on this scoring chance. Past the midway mark of the frame, it's 2-1. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And he's able to handle that one. Barris gets it done again, James. It just seems no matter where the puck comes from, he's going to be able to stop it tonight. Here's a shot, and he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. This is a really good save here. But I think what's important is the goalies and the goalie coaches love that it's not a spectacular one. That's positionally better than the shooter's shot. LA's got a hold of the puck. And that pass goes awry. Here's an offensive chance. Scores! They are on fire! Yeah, and it's all different sources too. Score a goal, make a change, get another one. Nothing seems to slow them down. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. The Penguins have made their way back to center ice and probably breathing a little easier now as they are up by two. You throw that second one in your back pocket, everybody on the bench feels just a little bit better. Broken up with the stick at the defensive end. Los Angeles gets the puck near the boards. Gretzky's carrying it ahead. Here's a shot and makes the routine save. And we'll get a face off as the puck goes out of play. Loney's on the receiving end of this huge hit. Sometimes you've got nowhere to go. More than half the period has expired. Pittsburgh's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Nice zone entry from the left. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Quick pass to Curry. Close save, and the play continues. Takes the feed. LA's got the puck. Sends the pass over. And that's deflected. 
Moves it quickly over Taloni. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Let's it go. Tremendous stop by Rudy. The Kings play it along the boards. Puts it on net. It's in. He scores. Man, if you've watched the game, you've seen this play so many times. How many times does it happen? A great opportunity at one end. The puck turns around, and moments later, it's in the other net. Los Angeles answers back here late in the second with a big one. Perfect positions if you're trailing by two is you've got to give yourself a chance. They had to work hard, James, to get within one here. They've rewarded themselves with that goal. And that one's broken up. 16 minutes, 17 seconds. Pittsburgh's ready to go on the attack. Makes a move in front. Score! Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. That goal is the byproduct of his puck on a string superstar ability, guys. His stick handling opened up some space, and he puts one up on the board. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. That pass doesn't go. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Scores! His second of the night. Well, things go well for you if you score multiple times in a game. This has been a terrific night for him. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. his superstar ability to create that scoring chance and skates away with the goal. What a great play by him. Pittsburgh's won it. Quick feed to Lemieux. Los Angeles has it near the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Unleashes a cannon! His reflexes on display tonight. Here's a short pass to Lemieux. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. A shot! Foley with a stop. Dished on over to Stevens. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. From point blank! There's the horn ending period number two. I'm not sure they wanted it to end. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. Third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? The Penguins are going to be able to stretch their bench out, use four lines, and take advantage of a real comfortable lead. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. Sends it over to Stevens. Pittsburgh's moving it into the offensive end. Shot! Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Rudy. There's not much pretty about that. That is determination. Powers his way to the front of the net for a creation of a scoring chance. Quick shot. Oh, another consecutive stop. I love the way that he's in position, and he's got the reflexes to bang out a couple of stops in a row. 
Toshkin's made this part of his game. He levels his opponent here. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Penguins have been the better squad so far tonight. They lead it 5-2. The Kings will go to work here in the offensive zone. And he says no! Harris is going to take the opportunity for a whistle. He's been outstanding tonight, James. It doesn't seem to matter what shot has come at him. He's been able to handle it, and he's had plenty of work. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Los Angeles wins the draw here in the offensive zone. Harris has it and freezes the play. Pittsburgh's got possession here in their own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. That's turned away with the pad by Rudy. Puck scooped up by Blake. Moves it on over to Granato. Puck grabbed by Sandstrom. You'll need more than that to beat him. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Granado's got to know right before he takes this hit that he's going to get run over. More than half the period left to play. Pittsburgh's got a 5-2 lead. Los Angeles wins the draw. Denies him with the save. And off the save, that one's redirected out of play. LA's won the draw and they'll go to work. Denied with the blocker. Oh, it stops him again. Great stop by the goaltender again. Back-to-back -back saves. He's been outstanding from the very beginning of this game. From the first period on, he's had to have his A game. Lemieux won it in their own end. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Nice pass. And just like that comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. He scores! So is this the time the coach says the two-goal leads the most dreaded lead in hockey? Oh, yeah. Somebody's going to say it guaranteed down there. But now you're only down two. You've got to push the play. Take some chances. Get up the ice. You've got to get another one. Los Angeles is back at center ice. They're not rolling over and dying in this one. No, not yet, but they've got a long way to go. The coach is trying to tell them there's still time. That pass goes a little sideways. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. And he comes up with it. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The Kings are still trailing by two. Lemieux won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Quick stop by Rudy. Feeds it on over to Robotai. Here's a chance. Oh, and I think that goes off the mask, and it stays out, and play continues. Makes a save. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Stevens takes the puck. Receives the pass. The Kings gain control of the puck. And makes the save. And that pass attempt is deflected. Through center along the wing. Over the line they come. Takes control of the puck. Picked off by Blake. Los Angeles was talking about working hard tonight and how they wanted that to go shift by shift by shift. Man, they've been in the right position a lot. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Let's it fly. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. It's 
such a simple thing, but I'm really impressed with the blocker technique here as the puck gets deflected away from the net on the save. Well past the midway mark of this period, Pittsburgh's got a two-goal cushion here. They lead it 5-3. LA's won the draw. Takes the feet at the back end. Off a stick and they can't connect. And now he angles it across to Coffey and tries to make a diagonal pass to Sidstrom. And the intensity starting to ramp up here after that hit. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. The Kings have the puck now. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Great chance in front, and he makes the save. Harris decides that it's time to breathe for a moment here. For him or for his team, he's been busy tonight, and in a close game, you want to make sure that you're focused in on the next play. Whoa, James, I'll tell you, I was on the receiving end of those, not on the giving end. Those hurt. Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Slides the puck to Roberts. Sends a pass over. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. The Penguins have it now. Slides it over with pace to Murphy. And there's the save. Harris makes the save and hangs on for a stoppage of play. Rudy's got quick hands, both the glove and here the blocker side with the save. In the final moments of this period, the Penguins lead by a pair. It's 5-3. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Into the offensive end now. Feeds the puck to Thompson. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And it's a one-goal game as he buries it! You want to make this thing believable for yourself, you've got to get away from that two-goal deficit. They've done it here, and now they'll look for the tying goal. He uses all the momentum of his stride to deliver that snapshot. It flows right by the goaltender. Guys, when he skates like that and gets his shot off while in motion, he can transfer that momentum into his release as we just saw. His make it snappy superstar ability was the driving force behind that goal. The Penguins take it along the wall. Pittsburgh's got possession here in the offensive zone. Denied by the puck stopper. Rudy's gonna opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around, it's the shift gets long, this helps. Who had the edge in Carlin Bates' mind? She's standing by with the answer. Stevens was rewarded for his efforts by getting in on the scoring. I like how focused he's been, and I'm giving him the edge tonight, guys. And that's stolen in the offensive zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. The Kings have it now. And here's the pass to Gretzky. Shot! Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. LA's got it, and they're on the attack. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the boards. Maintains possession. The Penguins gain possession. LA is looking to break out of their own end. Skates to the crease. He scores! And this place is going bananas. They know what the moment's all about. Well, I guess we know who the first star's probably going to be. That's three for them tonight. Too big, too strong for the defender here. I mean, that's a simple equation, James. He drives the front of the net and ends up on an assist as they just can't handle him. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Penguins win the draw here in the neutral zone. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. 
Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Los Angeles is on the attack. And that pass is redirected. Slides the puck over. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Drives to the sweet spot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Lemuse won the draw. Denies him! Rudy's athleticism serves him well there. Excellent stop. How did he stop that one? Sharp reaction save. 17 seconds now on the clock. 12 seconds on the clock. Here's a shot. Glove save. Harris gets on top of the puck, stopping the play. Now you can get some fresh guys on the ice, get yourself restarted. Man, that's a good shot, James, and no matter how much video you study on the other goalie, at the end of the day, it comes down to execution in that moment, and the goalie wins this one. The Kings win the draw, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. The Kings will serve two for slashing. There's a penalty of frustration right there. He just reaches out, whacks the player, and goes to the box for a couple minutes. That's it. There's the final horn to close this one up. Great. They had plenty of opportunities to try to get that power play going, and they certainly did. Well, finally, with the having the power play advantage, you would think you're going to cash through a little bit, but the coaches made a couple adjustments on the power play on the bench, and it eventually paid off for them. Well, everybody's got smiles on their face, not only on the ice, but into the crowd here. Yeah, it's a hard work win for the team, but now the fans, by being saluted, feel like they're part of it, too. It's all about being on the same team. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.